Good morning, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and all of the above. I am currently in Boston, Massachusetts, because I had a wild night last night. Sit down for your story time, because it's about to come. So, last night, I was supposed to be on a flight going straight to Philadelphia. Turns out that they canceled my flight before I got to the airport, saying they didn't have enough workers to for the flight to happen. Crazy, right? How do you not have enough workers if you're an airline, right? So, they were gonna send me home and make me come back the next day, which would be today, at 4 p.m. I said, no, 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 no. I need to be in Philly by 8 a.m. By 8 a.m. They said, there's nothing we could do, sir. I said, there's something you could do. Look in that computer and find something. And that's what they did. They found me a flight on JetBlue. I was flying with American Airlines. They found me a flight on JetBlue to go to come here to Boston. And then at Bal when I leave Boston, I'll be in Philly like around 1130. It sucks because I don't get to go and do my full review with Homegrown. Shout out to Homegrown. I sent them an email to try to see if I could come past later on while I'm here. If not, then I have to catch him on the next go round. But it is what it is. So right now, I'm waiting on my plane. When my plane comes, we're gonna go to my nephew's house, get dressed, go get my hair cut, and then get into some things. I'm gonna make sure that I bring you with me. Holla, if you can't, then don't bother. It's been a wild one so far. Let's see how wild it gets. Catch you on the next part of this video. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm the Man. Sharks all around in the pool where I swam. Been on my sh but you pretend. Been <laughs> we are back and we are now in Philadelphia. We are between 4th and 5th in Gerard Avenue, right here at Marley Sweet Tooth. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna try some of her signature dishes, try some of the ice cream, try maybe the pizza pretzel, and see what it's hitting for. This place has been getting a lot of rave for their Broad Street Bully. And we're gonna try that out today. I'll see you inside. Holla if you can't, then don't bother. Ha ha! 365 on the grind, gotta push. Every minute, every hour, over time on the books. When it comes to my bars, they can try to overlook. But in my streets, I'm a giant, just like Optimus Prime. I'm a beast, I'm a lime, kick, kick, kick. Don't, don't play none. Nah, nah, don't play none. Nah, I ain't with the games none. No time to lay up. Gotta, gotta get this cake up. Yeah, I gotta get my pay up. Bet I make a way up. They said I couldn't, but I'm way up. Bet that I'ma get this pay bug. Grinding every day, just moving sevens in these eights, cuz. Gotta, gotta eat. Don't, don't play none. Nah, nah, don't play none. Nah, I ain't with the games none. No time to lay up. Gotta, gotta get this cake up. Yeah, I gotta get my. Hey guys, we are at Marley's Sweet Tooth. And today, we're going to do this video and we're going to break it down into two parts for you guys. We are going to first do the pepperoni, turkey pepperoni pizza pretzel. And then we're going to do the famous Broski Bully afterwards. Now, a lot of people don't know about the pizza pretzel. They try to call it a South Philly thing, but right now we're in North Philly. So the pizza pretzel is getting around, and now it's time to share it with the world. It's a masterpiece. It is something that I grew up on as a child, and why not share Marley's perspective of the pizza pretzel? Black woman doing major things in the tri-state area. Gotta love it. So, I'm gonna give you some B-roll of the pizza pretzel, and then we're gonna get into it, and I'm gonna give it the honest review. I'll be right back.
We stack dough, yeah, we stack knots. Gotta see it like a padlock. On the front line, we stand off. Rip around from the mascot. Life's a race like NASCAR. I might, I might have not. Used to be a petty hustle, now I'm building enterprise for my city and my tribe. That's a landmark. Looking back at where we came from, just me and my day ones. Got it from the ground up the asphalt. We don't, we don't, we don't play none. Hit you up and spray, yeah. Leave a hater's brains on the dashboard. Dying young just to make it. Straight from the crater to the grave, man. My streets are a crash course. We rebound like a backboard. Risky, risky years just to have more. Trapping, trying to put our kids through a grass school. Cause that 9 to 5 ain't gonna pay for that road. The struggle is real. My tummy was clutching my ribs. Life had my back on the fence. Under the lens, the optics were looking so grim. Separate boys from the men. Prepare and commit. Attacking on never relent. Man, I'm convinced. And I insist. What you put in is what you're gonna get. So push the limit. Hood entrepreneur, street connoisseur. Black excellence is what I'm striving for. Yeah. It's now time for me to try Marley's Turkey Pepperoni Pizza Pretzel. Here's how it looks. Scrumptious. Now we're gonna take a piece of this thing. That was a taste of childhood. Please believe it, believe it, please. Holler at your kids and don't bother. I remember when I was a kid, I went to Ever Bach High School and I would always get pizza pretzels and a quarter hub for breakfast. And this is taking me back. Look at this pretzel. Look at the cheese on this. Look. Look at the perfection of this pizza pretzel. Look at this. And I'm not saying this because I'm super hungry. I'm saying this because this is monumentally good. And it's turkey pepperoni. Turkey pepperoni. You go anywhere else around the city, they're not giving you healthy options with quality food. Only here, only here. Man. Let me get another bite of this, though. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. That is A1. That is A1. Um, not gonna lie, I wish I would have tasted it as soon as it came out the oven. I waited a couple of minutes, about five, ten minutes. But it's still immaculately good. The cheese is still stringy and pulley. You can't go wrong. A piece of pretzel with a water ice is a game changer. That is a fully staple. A pizza pretzel with a water ice. And then you get the flies that come and bother us. But with that said, I'm going to finish off this pizza pretzel. And then we're going to move forward towards the Broad Street building. I'll see you on the other side of things. Uh -huh. Classics. So guys, we're back and we are about to try the brochure bullet. Now on this, we have strawberry shortcake ice cream, Oreo cookie ice cream, a waffle, and what it looks like, I believe pound cake and almond whipped cream. Now everybody know I don't really, really rock with whipped cream. But it's almond whipped cream, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see what it's here for. I'm a little nervous, but this looks really, really good. So, let's get ready to go in. It's so much you don't even know where to start it, guys. You don't even know where to start it. Let me give y'all another, another. Let me turn it around for y'all. Come on, man. Jeez Louise. 
Okay. Ice cream hitting. Oh, oh. Epic fail. Epic say. fail. <laughs> Pound cake. Pound cake getting. I think it's like a lemon pound cake too. It's a game. That's this. And then we have Oreo cookie. Okay, never go wrong with Oreo cookie ice cream. That's like the cheat code right there. And then we're gonna get some of this waffle. All in all, this dish has a lot of different things going on. But it all complements each other. They all complements each other. The whipped cream complements the Oreo cookie along with the strawberry shortcake. And then you have the lemon pound cake that's complementing the waffle. It's just a fusion of great flavors hitting you at different times because I'm pretty sure you're not putting all this on one spoon for one bite. I guess you could, but I'm not going to do that. I'm a savor each flavor. So I definitely believe this is the item that you should come here and definitely get. Definitely try. If y'all don't know, Broad Street Bully is Beanie Siegel's nickname. Beanie Siegel is a uh, staple here in the Philadelphia marketplace. He is arguably one of the best rappers to ever come out of Philly. Uh, and he's a legend here. It is what it is. So to have a item like this named after him, and it's really fitting because it's so unique and raw, and his style was so unique and raw with the music that he would create uh, when he creates music. So this dish definitely fits him, and it, and it was a great collaboration with Marley's Sweet Tooth and Beanie Siegel. Great collaboration. Here are classics.